Hello everyone, today I have a great pleasure to speak with Morana, uh, who is based in uh, Croatia. My first question as usual is, how you uh, became, who are you today and what is your story? Um, my journey, I think, started some 14 years ago when I um, basically was not happy uh, with previous job that I did and decided to uh, just to change, switch, um, Right away, I came across um, this ad, the uh, distribution company of alcohol and spirits, the wine and spirits. And I did not know absolutely anything about that segment uh, other than I recognized one brand. And I decided to apply for the ad. Uh, it was very, very long interview that lasted three weeks because I, have, I did not have any knowledge whatsoever about wine and spirits. But I got a job and um, I worked there for eight years. It was an ma amazing experience. After one year, I decided to go more deeper into the wine and spirits. So I went to get some international education. I got a chance to organize international wine and, uh, and gastronomy fairs. And there I met some extraordinary people uh, from Time Magazine, from the content and uh, from other segments, some, sh some amazing chefs, and I got a chance to see the world, the the expansion of what actually my profession can be. So um, I switched to another company, more premium segment, um, and I got to work more um, uh, or more marketing, more branding, and um, organization of the company. So. Um, little by little, I was doing other projects. I was outsourced. Um, most of them were now uh, in connection with gastronomy. And can you explain a little bit more about uh, how you, uh, who are your clients and how that works, like how uh, you are helping your clients? Um, my business, I actually started um, some one year ago. Um, with the last company, I, by accident, actually, I met this lady. I was walking uh, home and I met this lady. She was opening her restaurant. Um, she was from America and we actually started doing normal business. And I, and I saw how she was really, really struggling uh, in her business. And every time after work, I came, uh, to sat down with her to have a drink, to have lunch. And um, little by little, I would suggest certain things to her. Let's do this. Let's uh, let me help you uh, do better. And uh, we became very good friends. And uh, the restaurant actually, after one year of our work, became one of the most successful in Zagreb. Um, so um, to me, uh, she opened me to a totally different aspect. Um, she came from the international community and she showed me in certain ways how you can uh, function uh, differently and what is actually that you don't need to be part of a certain system, that you can create a system. And she was actually the one that um, I think brought the best in me um, and helped me actually to venture out on my own. Uh, she was my first client, and I think um, after that, uh, things started um, happening. Um, I went into actually different segments. I went into, um, uh, I worked with a winery. I worked uh, marketing for NPR for two events, two huge events. Um, and I did two restaurants. I did consulting on restaurant uh, events, uh, PR and marketing. So um, my chefs, I also collaborate with international consultants. So um, I work with two fantastic guys, Teo Ivanisho and Shandy Gashkin, who are fantastic chefs. And they work all around uh, the world. Okay, so if I understand correctly, you are helping the clients uh, who are in a restaurant business uh, by providing the good system and how they can promote do PR to attract more uh, customers. Yeah. I also do uh, events. I create uh, events for them um, uh, and organize uh, certain uh, event plans for them. 
Okay, so you are working closely with the business owners and you are uh, creating the structure. Are you also looking in their menu, uh, you know, what kind of food they provide or is it like a like one-stop solution or you're more focusing on marketing, PR and, and, and business? It is everything. It is basically the design of menu, uh, how menu is um, on this, uh, the creation of uh, the menu, collaborating with chefs, uh, education of staff um, um, on the service, on the wine, on, uh, on the, it, it is negotiating with suppliers. It is, um, it is basically like you, you would be employed, but you're outsourced and you take up absolutely everything that you think that needs to be um, adjusted for better results. And uh, you mentioned that your first client, she was inter from international community in Zagreb, which is the capital of Croatia. So uh, what kind of uh, restaurant is that? Is that a national restaurant? Is that some, some specific? What kind of food? Uh, it, it was actually, um, um, it is very cool combination. It is combination of Asian food um, and burgers. It is called a uh, 50 burger and champagne bar. So it is something very, very outrageous for Zagreb. And um, because Croatia is like famous destination uh, for uh, tourism last couple of years, uh, right. well known in Europe and also become very well known in, in the US and, and also Australia and Asia. So how uh, you think, the what is the trend on the market? Like how do you see the restaurants brand themselves, how they position themselves? There is a lot of room for improvement. I think the last um, two years since Michelin came in uh, Croatia uh, and the boom of tourism in uh, Croatia, uh, there has been certain improvement. But um, the biggest problem, I think, for Croatian market is that um, some of the uh, restaurant owners, and I will say this to the restaurant and bar owners, don't believe in um, quality marketing. They think um, that marketing is just taking a picture and posting it on Instagram. So um, I, that needs to change. I think they need to start uh, taking it more seriously that uh, your client is not just someone's friend. It's not just someone walking on the street it is someone actually who is googling and coming i don't know from uh japan italy whatever that uh, might find your restaurant it is maybe a company that wants to outsource you um today's world is a world of technology and we need to use the technology to help us uh have a better business so um I always say to them, every single step is important. It's not important that you start with everything um, uh, right away because everything depends also on financial situation. But you do need to uh, be available on uh, most a lot of platforms to be recognized by and known by the public. You know that is your um, that is your audience. You explained that your background is actually coming from uh, uh, wine industry. So can you let us know uh, more about Croatian wine? What kind of wines are on the Croatian market? And uh, in terms of the quality, how we can compare Croatian wines with maybe some famous wines in Europe? Uh, well, uh, Croatia is first and foremost a very young country when it comes to uh, production of wine. But... Um, Needless to say, uh, the quality of wine is very good. Uh, the quantity is not that big, so the export is not uh, possible in big quantities, but the segment that Croatia produces is very premium. Um, I think uh, comparing it to the European market, um, you will find very uh, satisfying results. And I think uh, a lot of... Uh, Croatian winemakers, um, they have put a lot of effort in their uh, production and they build the name uh, on the European market and now are recognizable. Um, I think I am very much proud since I, as you said, come from this area and I've seen it evolved. Um, I've seen it, um, th this is where I say like the, the most uh, rewarding thing is seeing the rev the evolution of something of something being built. When I started in wine in industry in this business, it wasn't like this. It wasn't recognized in Europe. It 
was uh, sold domestically. And right now, Croatia is uh, a country that is being talked about on European market. So for me, um, to see that 14 years later is um, very much rewarding for all the work that we did. Um, and I think um, everybody who visits Croatia or is interested in uh, Croatian wines will not uh, will find the quality uh, very very satisfying. I, I think uh, um, European wines um, have a very tough competitor on the market. I see. And uh, in Croatia, is the uh, more famous like red wine or white wine or rosé in special? Yeah, Croatia is first and foremost a uh, producer of um, uh, red wines. Uh, those are very uh, strong, but also the white wines. Um, the most two famous uh, varieties, Malvasia and Porship, are, I think, internationally known. Uh, but yes, uh, Croatia, I, I think, is right now balancing uh, white and red and is also becoming very, very respectable uh, producer of sparkling wine. Sparkling wines. So, yes, sparkling wines are actually very, very much recognizable on European market. I'm also curious uh, um, about uh, your vision and mission with this uh, business you are currently involved. Are you planning mm -hmm. to stay uh, um, in Zagreb? Or you want to expand your business maybe on the coast or maybe even uh, outside of Croatia in the future? Um, I don't plan whatsoever uh, to uh, stay in uh, Zagreb. Um, uh, Croatia has uh, has many possibilities. I always work the whole Croatia, but I do uh, have certain contacts and plan to work internationally. Um, I think. Um, Croatia is a fantastic, um, it is evolving country. I always say we are still, still, still evolving and we're still, still looking for each other. Although we have the signature uh, style of food, uh, right now in Croatia you will find um, such in a variety of international food. So um, I think I, I, I travel a lot in Croatia. I uh, know a lot of people. I know a lot of businesses um my uh, goal is to uh improve someone's uh business and whether it's on croatia or some in international um country and everything is a uh, uh my passion so i whether it's um split or dubrovnik or whether it's um i don't know england or france i am up for the challenge and um Yes, I, I most definitely don't plan to stay uh, focused on Zagreb. I haven't been. <laughs> sure. So that means like if some uh, uh, people who are watching this video and they have restaurant business and they maybe struggle a little bit, they can reach out to you and you can help them even if you are not, uh, if it's not possible to organize, like to visit the, the restaurant in person. Um, I, I, I'd actually... Uh, yes, of course. You do not need to be there in person. I worked something uh, that was, I got a material online. Uh, I did a lot of research just to connect and to see what is a um, uh, possible problem. Uh, but yeah, I do like to go, uh, but it's not something that is crucial. How is it important for the restaurant owners to build a personal brand at the same time? Is that important at all or depends about the restaurant? I think when you start a business, uh, you have created a brand, whether you like it or not. <laughs> uh, it just depends, are you going to build it up to be a successful brand or not? Uh, everything that has a name already is a brand. Um, uh, I n b believe in creating strong brands, in st strong community. I believe in strong marketing. Um, and what you create, that is your signature. That is your uh, at the end of the paper, that's your signature that will say uh, whether it's that you will be recognized by it. So uh, create a strong brand, recognizable brand. That always helps. And many uh, friends of mine uh, and some of my clients who are based here in Asia, in Japan, uh, Hong Kong, Singapore, they ask me about Croatia and usually they ask me because in, A in Asia, food is very, very important. So they ask me, what is the like best food in Croatia? So uh, now I'm going to ask you because you are expert in the field. 
<laughs> so if they're coming from uh, Asia, uh, what will be the uh, food and maybe uh, beverage you, you will definitely recommend them to try? Um, I, I think we have um, enormous enormously fantastic and uh, healthy and quality source of fish. So first and foremost, I would say uh, try fish um, and go local, local cheese. Uh, we have great uh, um, meat. We have different things. But uh, for me, and like what is Croatia, first and foremost, known is fantastic fish. We, we have the coast. We have an open market of fish. So um, uh, enjoy the fish. The, it comes... You know, the, the Croatia is still ecologically, it's very clean. So um, um, enjoy the nature. I think the best thing that Croatia has to offer is um, that it's very ecological and that it's very a uh, clean country. So the products that are sourced uh, um, are the most healthier, I think, that you can uh, have. Morana, thank you so much for, for your time and for sharing your, uh, your passion and, and your uh, business, who is uh, already very successful. I invite all people who are in the food and beverage industry and who wants to improve their marketing, PR, personal brand, and maybe menu, please be free to reach out to Morana. And now she's a member of Personal Branding Program, so be free to connect, be free to work together, try different recipes and exchange experience, and have fun.